Oh, hi there, friendos. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> can, can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I missed you, Meg. Like so much. Oh, sweet, sweet bean. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, oh, my G. <laughs> Doof! <laughs> How cool is this? Huh? How cool is this? Very exciting. Oh my goodness. All right. Are you guys ready? How's the music? Is the music too loud? Can you hear me? How's it going? Things doing good? You're balanced, but it could be louder overall. Oh, okay. I'm also not very close to the microphone. What about right now? What about now? <laughs> Alrighty, in three, two, one. Bow, 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 bow. Hello, sweet friendos. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. It's me. It's me. No, no, we're not doing full screen. We're not doing that. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought about you, um, I thought about you so much. Hope you're doing well and the break has been treating you wonderfully. Love your new stuffies. Ah, the break has been wonderful. It has been so great. Hello, sweet friends. Welcome to the new and improved Meg's Mashables channel, also known as Let's Make a Mashable. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> for those of you who are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. For those of you who have been waiting for a long time for me to come out of a hiatus. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate the heck out of y'all. Uh, I used to stream a lot. Well, I mean, in comparison to how some streamers do, it was not that much, but I used to stream a lot. It was, it went from, it was three times a week and I was doing it three to four hours every time. And we would do chaos doodles. We would make commissions. We would work on all fun so sorts of stuff. There was always chaos. Tons of puns. And then we would also do what's called Friday Mash Challenge, where I would make a mashable with your help. So we're doing kind of a new thing, where Let's Make a Mashable is Friday Mash Challenge, but I don't want to pigeon my, pigeonhole myself into just Fridays. <laughs> so we're going to make a mashable whenever we want. And by that, I mean Wednesdays. So it could be Wednesday Mash Challenge. But again, I don't want to pigeonhole myself into one day specifically. But I wanna say hi to the people that are in chat. We have, over on YouTube, we have Pandy Bear and Liza. Hello, I can hear you, wonderful. It's so nice to see you. Thank you so much for hanging out over on YouTube. Let me say hi to the people in Twitch chat. We have Rovi, hello, sweet bean. We have Alpha Knight Fury. We have Bender is Bored, welcome in. Kai Alexander, hello, sweet bean. Eagle Saga, hello, hello, it's Vicky, hi, how are you? I hope everything's going wonderfully. We have Barn Owl, we have Nolly Marie, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, we've got Scarlet Dragonfly, hello, how are you? That is loud, that is a little loud. <laughs> um, we have Rogue, hello, welcome in. Alpha Night Fury did a full year of subscription, holy biscuits, it has been a second. Um, we have, let me just make sure I'm not missing anybody. We have River Sticks Creations. It's so nice to see you in here. Hello, hello. Um, you already redeemed a hydrate, which I will get to in just a second. Frozen Dragon's in here. Oh my goodness. Deadeye, hello. Silly Gilly, hello, hello, hello. Fun, fun, actually fun. Mash challenge. Uh, let's keep it. Let's keep the tag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. So, hi. My name is Meg. Welcome to Meg's Mashables. I make Mashables or I combine animals with one another. Sometimes I combine animals with inanimate objects, but for the most part, it's two animals combined. So you're gonna help me today make a mashable. Amazing. <laughs> uh, I am still getting, I'm still getting some rust off. I, again, like I said, I used to stream very frequently to the point where I got a little burnt out, as one does. And I said, I'm gonna just take a few weeks off and that was in september of 2023 but here we are a few months later just a few just a few months <laughs> and i am now in a new office and by office i mean warehouse it's 
You'll probably hear that it's a little echoey. I'll figure out the audio eventually. Um, since the last time I saw you guys streaming, other than the random tiny little blip of streaming that I did a few, like a month ago, I was in an eight by 10 office at my house. And now I'm in a 1400 square foot warehouse. <laughs> so though I have had a break from streaming, I have not had a break from just the amazing Meg Smashables train that my business is. So yeah, it's been great. Uh, I can't wait to see the next Zodiac Mashables. I know I'm so excited. I swapped over from YouTube. Well, hello, Mika Far. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, and we've got 20-sided lady and Rovi over. I, I bet I can make, hold on. Uh, uh, oh my God, I just need to, I don't wanna, uh, eh. Okay, can I make, can I make, add, add as moderator. All right, 20-sided lady, AKA Kayla, AKA the neurospicy gremlin. AKA the wizard behind the curtain, AKA the person that does all of my marketing and website development and orders and anything that revolves, requires an Excel spreadsheet or a computer in general, Kayla. <laughs> I'm hoping it's Libra because that's my Zodiac sign. Interesting, interesting. I, it might, I started recording one yesterday and I didn't finish it. And it may or may not be Libra. It's Libra. <laughs> uh, so excited to see some of your beautiful creations and be a part of the glorious chaos. Yes, also hello, Whimsy Shenanigans. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> power! <laughs> oh God, I've given her the power. It is also, I feel like I'm very washed out, but that's okay. Maybe, hold on. <laughs> Is it a Meg Smashable stream if we're not adjusting? Hold on, wait for it, wait for it. We're just gonna change the ISO real quick because Meg is looking like a super saiyan. She's so pale. Um, Vicky, how are you? She says with a ask me anything redeem. I am doing so well. I am doing so well. I am very excited to start streaming. I had Figured out being able to stream on Instagram and on TikTok. I had it all set up. I was going to be doing four streams at once. I was going to probably break my brain in half or in quarters, but I was going to do it anyway. But when I went live, <laughs> uh, this framing works for YouTube and Twitch. <laughs> Not vertical for Instagram. And so when the starting soon... It just said eggs moss. <laughs> That's all it said. It didn't say starting soon. And I was like, I am not in the, uh, in, the, in the mindset to try to adjust this. So unfortunately for Instagram, they did not get an eggs moss. Not today. And uh, I, went, I wanted to go live on TikTok and I went, go live. And it went, you have to reapply to go live because you've crossed or you've be, you, something along the lines of I have gone against too many community guidelines. What? I, I genuinely don't even know. And listen, TikTok, I'm trying to stick up for you right now. So don't you, don't you tell me that I've gone against your community guidelines because your community ain't going to be guiding any lines. <laughs> so please be nice to me. Anyway, um, uh, eggs moss, worse, yeah, seriously. Um, are you still working on the avatars for the Twitch stream, Meg? Am I still working on the avatars for the Twitch stream? As in like the beans? What avatars are you reference? Oh, the little things that used to cross. Yeah, I, I am not going to have as many bells and whistles that I think a lot of other Twitch streamers have and what I used to have, mainly because I'm going to be using this on YouTube as well, and I just want it kind of clean. So we're just gonna have this, and we're gonna just touch this. We're gonna just have some some fun visuals over here. We're gonna have a, a, an alert box when something happens, but I'm not gonna have like a subscriber goal. I'm not gonna have like a donation goal or a bits goal or, or the avatars at the bottom. Maybe eventually I'll be able to have that, but it's just with cross platforms, it's gonna be kind of hard, so. Really, 
I'm stripping down all of the like extra fancy glitter and whatnot and hopefully you still just want to be here. <laughs> so if you haven't subscribed over on YouTube yet and you're over on Twitch, please go over to YouTube. I'm working real hard with Rovai actually to be making um, more content on YouTube. And so the Let's Make a Mashable that we're doing today, I've actually recorded three other Let's Make a Mashables. And so what's gonna happen is every Wednesday, we're gonna come out with a Let's Make a Mashable. It'll just be the second Wednesday of every month will be a live version. It'll be cool, it'll be great. So you'll still get a weekly Let's Make a Mashable content. It'll just be once a month where I, I read what you say in real time, hopefully. If I miss your comment, I'm sorry. It's not anything personal. Unless it's Rovi or Bickman making a pun and then I, if I miss the comment, it is personal. It's very personal. Uh, over on YouTube, we have Rovi and <laughs> Kayla <laughs> chatting with each other. Uh, but yeah, so uh, much eggs, very mas. <laughs> uh, huevos mas. Mas huevos. Uh, <laughs> Rovi, wow. Um, yeah, what guidelines? I don't know. TikTok's bad at me. Anyway, so that's that's kind of an update. I would love to hear what's going on in your lives. I've missed you. It's so nice to see all of you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. But what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into making a mashable so it, I can take as much time as I need to draw the little thing. So, without further ado, let's go to let's make a mashable. I don't have... I don't have another screen for the let's make a mashable. So just pretend something went on the screen that says, let's make a mashable. Oh, look, hi guys, welcome. <laughs> you got your gaming laptop, amazing. Spook Boo, hello, it's been so long. I've missed you too, it's so nice. It's so nice to see you, hello, sweet bean. So let's make a mashable. Let's make a mashable together, how about that? So in order to make a mashable, I need y'all's help. A Mashable, like I said earlier, is a creation of my own design. I'm not claiming animal combinations, but my specific spice to it is as follows. We're going to take as many animals that you guys can give me in the chat, and I'm going to put those animals on a wheel. And I'm going to spin that wheel twice. And whatever it lands on, whatever it lands on, <laughs> is going to be the Mashable that I make for you for the episode. I encourage you to make your own version of the Mashable. If you want to draw along with me and try to copy what I'm drawing, that's not my preference. I would rather see what you do, but if you're still really insecure about your own artwork or your own style, or you're just trying to figure it out and you want to create, and it's just going to be easier for you to copy what I'm doing, go on ahead. Everyone at some point has copied some artist with practice, that kind of stuff. But I would much rather you make your own version of the Mashable and then you can submit it into our Discord. Or you can tag me on Instagram or you can post it on TikTok for as long as it exists. <laughs> and I would love to see your Mashable. What is amazing and magical about Mashables, say that three times fast, is you can give an entire room full of people to of the same animals and they will make different animals They're, they were they will make different mashables isn't that freaking cool i think it's cool um queen kit kat can't be here but they said hi and sends their love hello to queen kit kat is nightball still dry? night nightbot have i not uh, maybe i just haven't synced nightbot for a second so lo siento nightbot i haven't done that we'll figure it out again I hasn't been doing this for a hot second. So we're gonna just go with it and do what we need to. Hello, no. Hello, hello. Or number L, uh, number L, 1989, Noll 1989, Noel. There it is. There it is. It's Noel. Anyway, hello. I live. You live. We all live. It's Ange. Okay, hi. Scarlet, almost three years. Oh my God. <laughs> <sighs> Hello, Sonnet! For those of you on YouTube that have no idea what just happened, we just got a raid over on Twitch from one of my favorite artists, 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The sonnet silence. How are you? Y'all, I haven't been able to say this in a long time, so I get to say it again. Sonnet is the first streamer I ever encountered. When I was like, I'm going to try to stream on Twitch. And then I went, I don't know what streaming on Twitch means. I went on Twitch and I just looked up the art category and I landed on this wonderful, beautiful, talented, kind, warm soul. And she welcomed me in with open arms, a stranger on the internet. And so anytime, if you ever are like, man, I really like how Meg's, I like Meg's etiquette when it comes to dealing with people that come into her chat. Sonnet. Sonnet was the first person that gave me, that made me fall in love with streaming. And she was the first person. So I, I just, I just, every time I see her, she's amazing. Um, but Sonnet, how the heck are you? What were you up to? What were you doing on your stream? We're making a Mashable today and we just, we haven't even, we haven't even spun the wheel yet. We haven't even put things on the wheel yet. So you made it just in time. Um, Sonnet has a YouTube as well. Oh, heck yes. Go on to YouTube. Do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Thank you, Revive, for going over onto YouTube and giving that to her, or giving that to them. I appreciate you. Um, I love, I love you. I was crocheting a funny little gal. Ugh. Ugh. So Sonnet is a crochet artist and a digital artist. Well, just an artist in general, but she makes beautiful crochet, adorable little beans, and you should definitely check her out. The Sonnet Silence on Instagram, on Twitch, on YouTube. I think it's The Sonnet Silence on Instagram, right? Anyway. Anywho, so let's 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 start let's start let's start coming up with uh, with some animals. So let's bring out the wheel. All right, everybody, let's say hi to the wheel. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I needed to put something. I needed to put something in the wheel <laughs> as a placeholder. What do you think it's gonna be? We'll never know. It's a. <laughs> Hello, wheelchair. <laughs> was that a typo? <laughs> or was that just, <laughs> hello, wheel. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, she's like something and she cannot, um... oh, she's like, uh, she likes butts and she cannot lie. Um, Aaron Blakeart, also it's wonderful to see you, hello. I haven't been um, by lately, but I've been loving the Zodiac Mashables. Gemini was spot on. Oh, thank you so much. This, the, the Zodiac Mashables have been such a blast. I have had such a blast making those. Um, and uh, I people are like, you need to make more. I'm like, I'm trying. I swear. It's just, there's a lot of them. Uh, and then, of course, Neil deGrasse Tyson comes out and says that there's technically a 13th Zodiac. So I'm going to have to figure that one out. So, um, could be butts, who knows? Yes, typo, okay. So, ugh. anyone else's uh, cars covered in pollen yet? <laughs> uh, anyhow, so this is the time where in chat, y'all will give me animal ideas. I want you to be as specific or non-specific as you would like. I have been doing this for a little over three years now. So I have seen a lot of cool animals. We learn a lot about the different animals. And so I would love to see it. Please, when you put it in chat, don't give me animal, don't give me mashable ideas, give me animals. Cause what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them all on the wheel and then we'll figure out what the mashable is. So um, let me get, let me get rid of butts. <laughs> all right, say goodbye to butts guys. <laughs> okay, so we've got raccoon. I'm not putting glitch in. Dumbo uh, octopus. Red dragonfly. Canadian lynx. Is there a difference? Are there other, are there other lynx, lynx eye, lynxes? Lynx eye, lynxes. Chimpanzee, oh God. Chim, chim, chimpanzee. Chimpanzee, there we go. Frog, love it. The fuzzy little jumping spiders that always look concerned. Oh, those fuzzy, so just jumping spiders. Jumping spider. Um, what if I made it shiny? Glitch, no. <laughs> Irish wool hound. Also, if you're over on, uh, on YouTube, you can give me some mashable ideas or um, animal ideas as well. Don't be shy. 
a groundhog. Mongoose. Mongoose. Horse. Condor. Confor. Con Condor. I swear to God. I knew as soon as I saw that one of the chats on YouTube blipped up, I knew it was Rovi doing glitch. It's not happening. Um, European badger. Ah, oh, yes. If you're a European badger, you should go to the doctor. <laughs> ah, I make myself laugh. Uh, gecko. Um, warthog. Like Pumbaa. I almost put warhog. Those are different. Um, wild turkey. <laughs> Good joke, Meg, no. Meg, yes. Meg, yes. <laughs> Dragon. Okay. All right. Orangutan. Orangutan. Oh my gosh. Uh, 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 Lappet Vulture. Well, we've got Condor. Oh, Peacock. Peacock. Pep. God. Ah! Okay. Uh, 10,000 bees. How about just a bee? Oh my god, if it lands on bee. Y'all, I have too many bees. Naked mole rat! Naked mole rat. A weeping angel. It's not an animal. Roxy. <laughs> if we can't, if I'm not taking, if I'm not taking glitch, I'm not taking weeping angel. A kinkajou. Ooh! A kinkajou. Adorable. Uh, adorable. Um, Fue Coco for Chaos. We're gonna, for this one, we're gonna keep it, I'm gonna, I know that we have done in the past some, like, other chaotic mashables that have nothing to do with animals. For the first, let's make a mashable officially back. Let's, let's stick with animals. But I appreciate Weeping Angel and Fue Coco. I don't appreciate Glitch. Ever. <laughs> Bobcat. His full name is Robert Feline. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey. Um, uh, um, sadness. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm sorry. Siberian Husky. Oh, okay. Husky. Hush, husky. Um. Amber draws a lot. It has been forever since I've seen you stream. Yes, it has been forever since I streamed. So welcome. <laughs> alligator. Okay, I'll put that in. Alligator. See you later, alligator. Okay. I think we have so many fun things that we we can do that. Let's do this. I don't think I I don't think I've missed anybody on. I haven't missed anybody. Okay. Axolotl, they're cute. You know what? You're not wrong, and I will put an axolotl. Axolotl. Thanks, a lotl. Okay, we're gonna put that on there, and then we are. Okay, fine. Meerkat. Axolotl. <laughs> axolotl, axolotl. Ask me anything, really. <laughs> uh, welcome. Bickman isn't here, so someone's got to make it, make the, 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 the puns. Where is Bickman, by the way? Have we seen Bickman? He's probably on a work call. Okay, so we've got the wheel. Are we ready? This is the time where you guys can make uh, a vote if you want to guess what it's going to be. I would love for you to tell me what you think it's going to be. So, are we ready? Are we ready? Thank you, Scarlet Dragonfly. I was hoping someone caught my joke. <laughs> uh, all right. So, um, also, hi, it's been a while. Sneaky Snack, it has been a while. And it's so nice to see you. Thank you so much for being in here. I appreciate the heck out of you. Hi, Chrissy over on YouTube. How you doing, Sweet Bean? It's so nice to see you. Hello, hello. Okay. Uh, a mere frog, IDKY. That would be cute. Well, I mean, no, it wouldn't. <laughs> But I would, I would be here for it. Um, oh, don't worry. I saw um, the sound I made when you made that joke was, yeah. Okay, good. 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 All right. 
I'm gonna spin the wheel. If you wanna say spin the wheel, or if you wanna say spin the wheel in your own language or in a different way, find ad adjectives, synonyms, verb, noun, synonyms of the word spin, spinonyms, if you will. <laughs> Man, I am. Whoa! Whoa! We just got raided. I was sent to work on a time thing and building and now I'm walking to another building and only 10 minutes left in my workday. Amazing. It is so nice to see you, Chrissy. Holy beans. Hello, brush for a hire. How the heck are you? We were just about to spin the wheel. We don't even know what we're going to make for the Mashable yet. So I'm so excited that you're here. How have you been? I have loved every and all things that you have posted over on Instagram. I haven't been over on Twitch for a uh, second. But it is so nice to see you. And thank you so much for bringing your community over here. If you guys do not know Brush for Hire, you should. You can follow him on Twitch. I don't know if he's on YouTube. Um, but on Instagram, amazing human being. Very talented miniature painter. And just artist in general. And just a cool, cool dude. With always cool colored hair. And nails. So, Brush for Hire. What are you doing? What are you, um, Good. How about yourself? I'm doing so wonderful. I do have a YouTube. Mostly cursed vids. So, like, your normal stuff. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for bringing your community over here. I feel so loved. Uh, and and yeah, so those of you who are joining the, the channel for the first time and are like, who is this person? Hi, my name is Meg. I make mashables where I combine animals with one another. So you can see back here, right, y'all. This is a fleep, which is a flamingo sheep. This is a corgi giraffe, a grogi. There's a lot of things. I also make chaos. I also do a lot of puns. And there's a lot of butts involved, too. And the occasional blip. And almost all of my art probably collectively shares one brain cell. So yeah, that's in a nutshell what this is all about. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, just my normal stuff. <laughs> well, Brush for Hire, if you want to post any of your socials, anything like that, I would love for you to do that. I don't really have my setup right now for being able to easily look at people's pages but please 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 send follows over to brush for hire we we we, we heart him we heart him hard hard hearts all right so let's spin the wheel find your spinning him <laughs> say spin say a different word for spin say it in a different language be passive aggressive i don't care we just need to get the wheel a little to spin so let's figure out what it's going to be all right. Thank you so much, Robi, for posting that. I appreciate the heck out of you. All right. Oh, geez. What is the chaos? Rotato chips. There it is. There it is. Okay. Okay. Are we ready? All right. The first animal for the first lamam, let's make a mashable, that we have back. Oh, is it Kinkajou or is it Robert Feline? It is Kinkajou. And all we see is Aju. All right, a kinkajou, which is sure gonna have a fun time combining that name with another animal. <laughs> oh, if it was a mere kink. of you that are like, man, I'm only used to seeing her in bite-sized 60 second to a minute and a half videos. And uh, you thought that was, those were chaotic. Imagine having to see it all in raw form with no editing. <laughs> a naked kink rat? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> King Salato Oh, big baddie or dig baddie. I appreciate that. Hello, welcome in. Uh also for those of you I just 
I figured I should say this because I haven't in a long time. <clears throat> Though my content, <laughs> don't, don't pay attention, don't look at, oh my God, okay. Um, <laughs> all my content is typically safe for kids, three butts in a row. Um, Though my content is uh, safe and uh, uh, digestible by a wide array of ages and sensitivity levels, we do we do have we do have a little bit of a gray zone, but we do keep it clean in here for the most part. Don't look at the dying hot dog, man. This is this is not helping me. <laughs> So just a just a fair just a heads up, um, with whatever we mash kinkajou with, whatever jokes and puns it may come out as, please s keep in mind that we have uh, baby beans that watch this. And again, though it is not specifically made for children, I do make this accessible to everybody. So yes, there will be butts. Yes, there will be kind of cheeky, a little bit of like immature humor but let's keep our language clean and uh let's keep our puns as best as we can with kinkajou <laughs> <clears throat> all right <laughs> oh god i snorted Oh my god. Okay. Living in the unedited stuff. I feel that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So opposite end of the brush of the uh, brush for higher spectrum. Got it. Yes. Yes. I realized I was like, oh, brush for higher rated. Oh, brush for higher rated. And like that, this is in no way like, uh, like looking down on or judging other content or anything like that. Trust me. Outside of this, if you've seen me on an improv stage, the things that I have said and done. <laughs> but I, I found out very early on that my art was attracting a wide array of people, including kiddos that watch my stuff. And so I, 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 it just, whether or not I asked for it, I was bestowed the responsibility of making a community that was safe and appropriate for the people that were joining the community in the first place. So. That is what I have to say for that. Let me step off my soapbox and let's see what we're gonna mash with a kinkajou. <laughs> I tried to look up a mere frog and I learned that there is a more frog. Ooh, people let their kids watch my stream for better or for worse. Oh yeah, no. And like, there's like to people, the people that like, and that's fine. Honestly, if I ever have kids, like they, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna be fine. They're gonna see a lot of fun stuff. Um, I just wanna make sure that like, if people see some of my, there's literally like, I've had like five butts this entire, <laughs> When people like see me, especially like on TikTok and on Instagram, and they'll let their kids like scroll through my stuff, I just don't want them to be like, what? <laughs> so, not very, uh, very not kid friendly though. Yes, it's all good though, but it's okay. Cause honestly, it's all about the parenting and it's just teaching kids what, you know, context. Anyway, we don't have to go on that. Um. <laughs> Um, interesting term. Um, let me see. People with their kids. Um, I tried to look up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> mommy, what's a kink? Is a kink X? I can't even. I can't even say that. There's too many letters at the end of an alphabet in that. Um, Kinkajou peacock. <laughs> How dare you put that into this universe? If it land, oh, all right. Let's do another spin, shall we? Let's do it. Are we ready? Okay, wonderful, cool. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, we mashing. Oh my God, okay. A husky, a kinkajou and a husky. A husky, a kinkski, kinkajouski. None of it, this sounds, 
It sounds... None of it sounds good. <laughs> Well, you are delightful chaos just for my kind of community. I have to go and be a responsible adult, but we'll be back another day. Oh my gosh, Forgotten Storyteller, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Thank you for being with us. And I'm so glad that the chaos won you over. And you have a wonderful rest of your day being an adult. We're going to be over here with a kinkajou husky. <laughs> JJG! I love you. Can't hear anything because I'm at Universal Studio on vacation. Okay. Okay, Flex. Hello, sweet bean. I just want to point out that JJG has subscribed for 42 months. 42 I don't even know how many I don't I can't 42 months kinkski kinky ski kinky ski kinkuski mm. <laughs> okay a hinky a hinky <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. <clears throat> Hinky it is. <laughs> oh, you know what? I missed this. I missed this. Um, Abarada says, oh my god, I just looked at your IG and realized you made my spirit animal. Golden Taurus is officially my new zodiac. Oh, I sent that IG to my husband and he said, why did she draw you? <laughs> <laughs> I will, Abarna, thank you so much. And I am so glad, I am so glad that I inadvertently drew you. <laughs> the Golden Taurus, I, I, I'm a big fan of that. I really enjoyed that one. Um, brush for hire, yay, I contribute. Of course you did, of course you did. I'm off work now, love y'all. Bye Chrissy, enjoy the rest of your day. Get home safe. Um, do you have any, um, any physical minis of your Mashables, per chance? I don't. And I really should. I really should. But, uh, there's so... The amazing and frustrating thing about Mashables is that it has this capability of existing on so many different types of, like, merchandise and just, like, just different things. But in order to do those things, I need to have money to do the things and so it's like this I'm slowly building the like okay I'm gonna make but I would absolutely love to have like print like a uh, blank figurines that have been 3d printed of my mashables that people can paint oh my god that would be so cool or just like making them that are like fully painted and ready to go as like little desk pets oh so cool so cool I would love that so much the money's hurdle right though but it's okay because we'll do it We'll figure it out. It'll just take forever. Brush for Hire says, and with that, I have to raid and run. Have a great day. Thank you so much, Brush for Hire. Thank you for the hinky. Should have thought of that sentence before I said it out loud. But you know what? We're going to stick with it. It's here on the internet now. Thank you for the hinky, Brush for Hire. I don't know if you're still here. Have a good one. <laughs> Not me eyeballing a new 3D printer. Oh. 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 All right, uh, I gotta lurk now. IRL work stuff calls. Thanks for the laughs. Of course, Dig Betty. Man, that is a that is a that is a, a username to say. But thank you so much. It was wonderful meeting you. I'll listen and drive um, for the hour home. Amazing. Well, Med Meg's podcastables coming to you live from Chrissy's radio. All right, we've done it. Now for the easy part. <laughs> actually making the thing. So first and foremost, we have to find our bum, ba, da, dum, bum, bum, bum. Um What is it? Kinkaju? Oh my god, these things. Look at this bean. Okay. What are you eating? <laughs> Look at these babies. Look at these babies. Oh, I know, they're so cute. All right. So if you're drawing along with me and you're an artist or you're not, everyone's an artist. I don't care what you say. Um, if anyone has ever told you that using reference photos is cheating, 
please delete that from your brain. That is just not cool. That's not, that's not, that's not true. That's not true whatsoever. Um, use reference photos because we don't have these things in our head. We have to look, we have to think about poses. We have to think and, and use resource materials in order to combine ideas. We have to essentially do what AI does, but we're human about it. Anyway, let's learn about kinkajou, shall we? <clears throat> look with your special eyes. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so we've got kinkajou and we've got a husky, but I want to learn about a kinkajou. Kinkajous live in a tropical rainfor in tropical rainforests from southern Mexico through Brazil. Its small, hand-like feet have fingers that are a bit webbed and end with sharp little claws. Dense, woolly fur acts as a raincoat to keep the kinkajou dry. They can live up to 23 years in captivity. Oh, that's rough, buddy. Um, let's... How big can they be? Kinkajou's body length can range between 36 to 55 centimeters or 14 to 21 inches, a total weight of 4 to 10 pounds or 2 to 4 kilograms. Um, oh gosh, they have a lot of predators, but we don't need to look at that. Are kinkajous good pets? No! Are kinkajous monkeys? Looking a bit like a monkey, a kinkajou are often mistakes, mistaken as primates. They do have the trait of the feature of those primates, but the kinkajous are carnivores in the family, that thing. Oh, okay, so they're in the family what is called procyonide, procyonide, procyonidae, pro this thing. Uh, which includes raccoons, coaties, ringtails, and olingos. And duolingos. <laughs> okay, so a kinkajou is more, is related to kind of like lemurs, coaties, and uh, raccoons. That's really cool. All right. Okay. And huskies are, huskies have, we don't, do we have to, do we want to learn about a husky? Uh, <clears throat> they shed a lot. They scream and they have a lot of energy. I just described myself. Hmm. It's Meg. Oh, how I've missed you. Hello, Lantern Lore. Wait a minute, Lantern Lore. You've changed your name. You've changed your name. You weren't Lantern Lore before. You've changed your name. Um, <clears throat> Moosevery. Hello, you said 3D model, and now I need to know more um, where to find it. I haven't made it yet, but eventually I will. That would be real fun. I would really love to do that. Uh, Abarda, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate the heck out of you. I love sleeping in snow. Do you love sleep? Oh, and love sleeping in snow. Do you love sleeping in snow? I mean, if I was equipped like a husky to sleep in snow, then probably, I would probably love it. Um, now I sculpt models for other people to 3D print and sell. I have, yes, okay. I now sculpt models for other people to 3D print. Okay, so you don't do you don't do your own designs anymore. Used to be Alligator Loki, yes. But then it was it was Lantern Labs, Alligator Loki. Wait, which I don't know. Was it Lantern Labs then Alligator Loki, or was it Alligator Loki then Lantern Labs then Lantern Lore? I don't know. Regardless, welcome in. I hope you have been doing wonderfully. How are you? Okay. Huskies, husky facts. Oh, we can meet a husky in 3D. Can we? <gasps> Look at the bean. Beans. Beans. Oh. Okay, cool. Okay, all right. I don't, I don't want. I don't want it. Oh, jeez. Okay. Good puppers. Would boop the snoot. Sames. Sames. I would boop the snoot as well. What's special about husky? Literally, why is that a sentence? Hello? Hello? Why can't I see it? Hello? I can't click on anything. All right. That's fine. Active, independent, mischievous, and playful. It gets along fairly well with other dogs and pets and is outgoing towards strangers. Because of their friendly nature, Siberians do not make good guard dogs. There you go. <clears throat> you have a husky puppy at home? She's crazy. 
I get that. <gasps> Hello, Orca. How you doing? Hi, Bean. How's your day? How's your life? How are you? It is so nice to see you. They just yell at intruders. <laughs> Okay, we're making a hinky. A hinky, which is a husky and a kinkajou. <clears throat> this is a fancy meatball song. Um, I got Husky Great Dane Mutt. Um, he's big and so loud. Oh my gosh, that is a lot. Um, hide the breakfast. <laughs> orca, orca, orca. Uh, do it. I don't want to see any of it. Orca, how the heck are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Okay. So we've got a kinkajou, which is this little thing, with a prehensile tail, which is a grabby tail, and tiny little grippy mitts with sharp little claws very thick fur and we've got this crazy guy which is a husky if you were wondering so we've got a kinkajou and a husky aptly named by our friend and it's gonna be called a hinky <laughs> oh my god meg did i tell you uh, my band is gonna play this song <gasps> no that's amazing grippy mitts band name called it <laughs> uh take it take it take it okay so um, oh yeah where can we hear it are you gonna record it because we best be hearing it we best be hearing it uh whoa picture of a husky with a grabby tail Picture, um, it would just add to their drama. Oh my gosh. Also, Jordalee Poo Poo, how you doing? Hello. It's been a long day and I can't really stay for long. I'm kind of in the middle of being a soldier, but I couldn't miss the live, even if it's just for a minute. Well, Orca, I hope you're staying safe and you're doing well. And I'm so glad that you were able to stop by. Um, but yeah, it's nice to see you. Yeah, so with that recording setup I had plugged into earlier today. Oh, do it. I want to see it. Um, okay, so when I start drawing my Mashables, sometimes, most times, I need a little bit of, I need to familiarize myself with the animals that I'm going to be mashing. So instead of trying to overwhelm, instead of overwhelming yourself with, the what am I how am I gonna mash them what I do first is I just draw the animals individually I don't try to make them super detailed but I don't try to make them super cartoony either I just want to I just want to get a sense of like their shape so like what I'm seeing here is that much, I can see the raccoon. Well, now I'm thinking raccoon, I, I, I see it. The very hunched little body. And just chubby little arms. Good to see you all again, yes. Bickman, Bickman so P.I. on the scene. <laughs> Hello, Bickman, how are you? Uh, Shell Smiley, hi, Meg in chat, came from Brush's Raid. It's good to see you online. Hello, thank you for coming over from the chat. It's so nice to see you as well. How the heck have you been? How is life? 
Okay, so they've got these little grabby tails. Do, 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 do. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Okay, I have these cute little ears, but honestly, I have a feeling that I'm probably going to use a husky ears because the huskies, their main characteristic is the ears and the tail. And again, your sketch isn't isn't meant to look um, like just amazing. You're supposed to just, you're just getting shapes. You're just figuring out shapes and poses. I'm doing incredible. That is so good to hear. What makes you feel doing incredible? What's going on with that? <laughs> What's your secret? <laughs> what is the Spotify? What is the Spotify playlist called? Um, I think, I don't know, um, can I share this playlist? Share, copy, open to this, boop, there you go. Uh, finally get to join the party. Adam Holbrook, Brooke, hello. It is so nice to see you over on YouTube. How are you doing? Welcome in. We're making a Mashable. The first thing that we're mashing is a kinkajou, which is this wonderful little creature that kind of looks like a lemur because it's related to them and also is related to raccoons and coatis. It is around, it's like Central America. It's like Mexico, Central America and Brazil. You'll find this thing. Uh, and they're super, super cute. And then we're mashing it with a husky. So we're calling it a hinky. Ah. <laughs> uh, Anywho, um, I have had quite the last roughly six months. Oh yeah, it should be called Meg Jams. Oh, I really should. I follow you on YouTube as well and on Insta, but I've never caught a Twitch stream before, so this is exciting. I'm doing great, thanks. Oh, I'm so glad that you've been you're here over on a Twitch stream. Thank you so much. I haven't streamed on Twitch other than one random one-off about a month ago. I haven't streamed on Twitch since September. <laughs> Ooh. So, uh, yeah, that's probably why you haven't seen it. So, welcome. Welcome to the chaos. Also, I feel like I'm very tiny in this little box. And I feel like I can be just a little bigger, right? We think we can be a little bigger. You can see my, the, you can see my face a little bit more. Uh, yeah, you have. I, what is, what's, what's your six months been like, buddy? What's it been like? I want... I want to know, can you tell me? I want to know what your six months have been. Look at these chubby arms and their thick mitts and they are really super duper cute. Um. Ooh, yeah, see, like I said, you really don't have to make your <laughs> sketches look great. You just have to get an idea. Just get a quick idea. Their heads are kind of like a lemon and then like a, so it's like this and then it kind of goes a little bit like that, right? Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> hey. Hey, I am a kinkajou. <laughs> So real talk, I don't want to bring things down going uh, through a split, which have been, has not been great. Oh, geez. Okay. But I've also been recently, I have also recently met someone and I'm happier than I've been in a very long time. <gasps> oh my gosh. The, I am so sorry the fact that I did not know that because if I did, I probably wouldn't be like, tell us everything about your personal life. Um, but thank you for feeling safe and vulnerable enough to share that with us. And I'm so glad that you did. Um, I'm sorry that you're going through that split. That's not fun. That's not fun at all. But I am also glad that you met someone who is making you happy because you deserve happiness. And so this is really awesome and I'm really proud of you. Um, but yeah, will this be more often now? So this is going to be, I'm gonna be streaming um, the second Wednesday of every month and then I'm going to be posting 
edited version, edited Let's Make a Mashables videos every Wednesday. You're just gonna once a month have a live version of it. Adam Holbrook says, I'm doing great, thank you, how are you? I'm so sorry that my response is gonna come so late from you messaging me, but I'm doing wonderful. Thank you so much, Adam, for asking. I appreciate you. That's all good, you've been super crazy busy and I didn't wanna bring that negativity in. You are such a sweet bean for thinking that, but I'm also glad to know that you're doing well. Wow, we have seen, because I've been streaming for three years over that, and I, I feel like, like I've seen, I, I've seen, I've seen a few divorces, <laughs> but I've seen some really amazing people in this community come out on the other side better for it. And I'm just really proud of y'all. I'm really proud of y'all. I've seen people become very, very happy with their lives because they finally made decisions that they needed to do. So, um, uh, did I hear you have a Discord? Where's the link? We've got a link for you right here. It is from Bigman. Hang on, Discord requires verified. Yes. Um, yeah, Nightbot. I don't know if Nightbot's working over there. So, okay. There's the kinkajou. Okay. All righty then, let's draw some huskies. What are the huskies gonna look like? Okay, so husky heads. I wanna just start with a shape. I see a rectangle. It's like rectangle, I don't know if you can see that. Rectangle. But then there's like little flappy doos that go down. So it's like dot, 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 dot. So it's like you have your rectangle, but then you also have that with their little puffs. Again, if you try to consolidate, if you just try to simplify things and go with shapes first, you will make your life so much easier. Just don't, purposely don't do details. Just make a, 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 a shape with, just make an origami. <laughs> yeah, make it super simple. Make origami. No, just make it, make it just, what, polygons? What am I, Porygon? That's a Pokemon. What am I thinking? Just shapes? Polygons? A, poly, po a polymorphic shape? What am I trying to say? Take everything that I just said, make it a coherent sentence, and there you go. There's my artist tip. <laughs> You gave that husky dreadlocks. Um, oh yes, I did. <laughs> They've got, they're very poofy and very proud creatures. It's so funny that they're just so proud when they are just not, they're not elegant creatures all the time. They really aren't. Uh, when's the last time you signed into Nightbot? Sometimes it disconnects. Oh, it's been a second. Polygons is right. Okay, cool. I love how you talk through things. It eases my uh, my mean brain and it's so reassuring. Oh, good. Well, <laughs> coming from a fellow mean brain, I like to call it the gremlin. Um, yeah, sometimes you just gotta, like, you're just not gonna be, it's not gonna look exactly what you want right away. And that's okay. That's okay. There's, it, it, it this this type of mentality of approaching things um, is also referred to as trust the process, if you've ever heard of that, where you just have to trust that eventually this will look the way you want it to, or at least it'll be a lot closer than it will look in the beginning. So 
Just give yourself a break, you know? And also, at the end of the day, you are just making art. That's okay. You're doing great. You're crushing it. All right. And their, like, tails are very curly. And we're giving up on the shapes. <laughs> and we're giving up on the shapes. We got this. Okay. Where are the... Huskies have big old paws for the ice and snow. Come for the land of the ice and snow so their little paws are super big. Uh, big one says, yeah, I got the paperwork on Friday so things are progressing on that front. There is distance with the new person so we're able to take things slow. We get to um, get to know each other well, etc. But I'm entirely smitten by her. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Um... I hope that on the paperwork front and all of that, it's uh, it goes as smoothly. Uh, what what frog creature am I creating right now? It goes as smoothly as that kind of stuff can. I mean, like it's there. It it's near to impossible to be make it like not painful, but I hope that it goes as smoothly as it can for you. I'm sorry to hear about that. All right. Uh, other than this husky looking absolutely derpy, I'm here for it. Um... Just trying another angle. <laughs> Again. Oh God. <laughs> it's okay for your sketches to look like that. Anyway. Thanks, Meg. Of course, dude. Revise Larking. Okay. Is she also a fellow nerd? I would imagine she is. I would imagine she is. Okay. So we've got... We've, we've, we've grown accustomed to the different creatures that we are mashing together. Again, we've got the hunched back and the long prehensile tail, which is the grabby tail of the kinkajou. And then we have the head shape and the pointy ears and the fluffiness overall and the, the, the fluffy tail that curls. So how we are going to get this as a hinky, which is a husky kinkajou. Now am I going to use a dog body? Like what, this is when I start thinking like, okay, do I want like a dog dog legs or I think the kinkajou's legs are too cool to pass up so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use I like that and I like that these are gonna be my okay no it's fine okay do, 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 Ah, puppers. Hi, Zambies. Hello, hello. Someone had given me a hydrate a long time ago. Whoops. <sighs> now, let's think. Let us think. How are we gonna do this? Hmm. I think it should be in a tree. And it should, ha I, I, I really like this pose that this kinkajou's doing. So I'm gonna be pretty heavily relying on the kinkajou 
physical body. So I'm gonna have to make sure that I do the husky justice. Do the husky justice. Man, stream of consciousness today. Anyway. Um, okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. We've got our hunch. We've got our head. We're going to make this a little smaller so I have just room to go. Now the question is, I feel like I feel like if I had it up here, do I want the tail? That's that's gonna look like a squirrel. Um. Okay. We can just make it's all. You know what? This is just gonna look like a squirrel. I just have. Okay. Do we like this? Do we like it so far? This is very kinkajou and not very husky. What about having a uh, hinky song, the songs of their ancestors, uh, sing the song of their ancestors like actual huskies? I love it. Um, I don't know. Don't know how we can implement that. I mean, I totally could make it sing. But I think I kind of, let me, let me just, let me see. Hmm. Whoa, that was a very big eraser. Okay, we're gonna make this guy very fluffy. We're gonna have him turning this way. And then we're gonna have the husky sh head shape where it kind of does that scoop. We're gonna have the nose up here and it's gonna be doing that husky smile that we all know and love. It could be doing the husky scream, but I kinda, we'll see. We're gonna give it a big old tongue because this thing has not a thought between its eyes. It's okay, it's fine. I didn't need to erase all of that anyway. Oh, this song is perfect for this, this creature right now. Smooth brain. Oh, very, very smooth brain. <laughs> oh, golly gee. Look at this. Look at this creature. Oh my gosh, Regina Winter, thank you so much for following. I appreciate the heck out of you. Welcome in. I don't like those ears, but they're close. I just don't like them. This music is stressing me the fluff out. It's giving me... Nightmare fuelish? Like, are we okay? 
Love the derpy face so far. Thank you so much, Sneaky Snack. Yep, smooth brain tracks. Yep. Husky energy uh, in a being that can climb up you and sing a song clearly into your ear. Oh my god. Still has husky energy. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, they kind of have just a slight... There we go. They always have like little little eyebrows. Okay, all right, now let's, this just, I, I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't be mad if someone thought this was a squirrel. Also, this tail is taking up so much of the detail. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get the tail, because as much as, like, I, I want it to be size accurate, but I also don't want to, like, lose detail because it's so small, because it's so far away, because we have to fit this big old tail so maybe I'll curl the tail up just more it's like is it a chameleon <laughs> just for giggles just for giggles I'm going to Take the husky ears away, just real quick. <laughs> what if? Oh, hold on. What if I gave it kinkajou ears? Do we do we not have enough husky in this to understand that it's a husky kinkajou? <laughs> I don't. I think we lose husky if I get rid of the ears. Huskies are fluffy, so might not feel super size accurate. I think. Yeah. The tail wasn't really that big. Just a little husky. Get out of here. <laughs> Does anyone in the chat have fun facts about kinkajous? I don't know anything about them, but they are fun looking. Oh yeah, I, we can we can come up with some really fun ones. Um, do I? I don't know if I like the ears. You like the ki you like the kinkajou ears, but do we lose? Do we lose out on husky because of that? Why does kinkajou ears make it look even more smooth brain? Oh yeah, it's... They're also called honey bears, the kinkajou. Oh cool, awesome. I feel like... It's just, it's so derpy with the ears. CB Frosty, how are you? Oh my gosh. The Meg, the CB, how are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. It's so nice to see you. Oh, did my light die? It did. <laughs> I did. Oh, no, it didn't. No, it just didn't. How long had it not been on? Okay. I think the husky will show enough with the fur and coloring, too. That is true. Kinkajous are known for their amazing hearing. They also occur night walkers. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I think the coloring... And then maybe if I just do this like last, like the last little tip of the tail, make it a little bit more husky-like. My dog is behind me. And I forgot that she was behind me until she left me a little quiet nose present. Good Lord, I was like, that could not have been me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what is wrong? I'm fine. And my dog just... <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, all right. Are we still reading Husky? It's okay if we, it's okay if it's like one is a little bit more than the other. I just don't wanna to lose too much, but these, these kinkajou ears are just so stinking cute. They're so stinking cute. So happy to see you. They aren't husky, they're fluffy. <laughs> yeah, it's so, I'm so happy to see you too. I hope you are doing so wonderfully. Hello, sweet bean. Anything new in your life? Uh, boyfriend moved in, big transformation things for the family, and I'm making journaling uh, entry, uh, journaling entries and art with your monthly matchables. <gasps> that is so cool. Ah, amazing. I love that. Well, thank you so much. I'm so glad that everything seems to be going wonderfully for you. Uh, this is a cool thing I found. Kinkajous play a crucial role in their ecosystem as seed dispersers. By eating fruit and spreading seeds through the forest, they help maintain biodiversity and promote the growth of new plants. Well, that's cool. That's real cool. Yeah. Gotta adjust the ISO because it's getting darker. <laughs> da 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 da. Journal entries with Mashables. What would that be like? What is that like? What do you do? Do you like do you like a writing prompt? I junk journal, so I put her awesome art um, as a central theme for the page and decorate around it. I love that. Also, junk journal? <laughs> I know that you put it in quotes, but it's just like, a junk journal. I put her art in it. <laughs> um, I know that's not what you meant, though. Um, Adam says, so I have to ask a nerdy question. Are you by chance going to do a Mashable for the upcoming Ghostbusters Frozen Empire movie? Uh, I was not on the top of mind but I could. What do you suggest? Oh no, I missed the hour mark. It's okay. Audrey Hoagland, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate the heck out of you. I went to have dinner. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. I can post pictures in Discord. Ooh, not only is your piece on the junk journal, it's a central piece of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love that. Okay, guess what? It's time for line work. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. This little thing. So, okay, so a kinkajou and a husky. 
Huskies are independent. They are cutie patooties. They sing the song of their people. And very friendly to strangers. And shed like a like nobody's business. What else? One and a half hour mark. Meg, how are you? <laughs> um, I'm doing so great. Thank you so much for asking. I uh I'm, I'm, I have a lot of really cool uh, ventures ahead of me this year. Some are gonna be scarier than others. Some are gonna possibly be painful at first and then be worth it. But I'm here for all of it and I'm really excited. Thank you for asking. Adam says over on YouTube, well, definitely um, Slimer because it's definitely Slimer since he is making a return and possibly either a terror dog or a mini puff, the um, puff, to mash him with. Ooh, okay, I like it. Slimer definitely should be one of them. That's a good idea. Uh, is the tail gonna be more husky or kinkajou? I'm trying to do both. I'm trying to do the length of the kinkajou because I just feel like that is such a important element of a kinkajou that so to take that from it would be pretty hard to not, pretty hard for me to not put in the mashable. But with the husky part, I'm going to just I don't know if you can tell with the uh, the sketch right now. Um, and maybe I'll just start doing it now. But you can see, I'm, I'm making it a little bit fluffier and like fox slash uh, like wolf-like as the tip. So hopefully we get a little bit more like fluffy husky puppy vibes as well. Um, maybe what I can do is maybe do kind of where it like thickens. So we kind of have a, a combo of both. All right, that's where I'm at. What did Brush call it? A hink, it's a hinky. Just a hinky. Just a hinky. Boba tea. I've had boba before. <laughs> the heck was that all about? Anyway. <laughs> Posted pictures and finished art. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Oh, boba. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. we gonna texture this. I'm trying to just get the rough shape. See, this needs to be because its head is turning this way, or to, to whatever screen screen right. Everything on screen left has to be a little bigger than its screen right counterpart because it's turning. And so since it's turning its head, everything on this side is slightly closer to you than everything on this side. So you need like the, his mouth to be a little bigger on this side than on this side. You need his eye to be a little bigger than this one, that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, geez, that's a very big eraser. Do, 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 do. 
Meg, can I just say that I'm looking forward to doing these weekly. Doing Mashoween was a great way to get me to draw every day and I'm hoping that this will spur me to draw more. Yes! Oh my gosh, amazing. Yeah, this will definitely be, so I don't know if you heard that it was, that it's going to be the, we have one recorded, ver or two, three recorded Let's Make a Mashables and one live. And so that's how it's gonna do. It's like the second Wednesday of every month will be the live version and then you will 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 do uh, the recorded versions. I, I'm gonna walk away from this part because it's it's bugging me. And that's something that I suggest all of you do. If you are drawing and you are having a hard time with one specific spot, if you try at, if you're working at it for like, and you, 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 you just cannot get a good idea of how you wanna do a specific spot of the piece of art, and you just, it's like three or four times, instead of getting frustrated and just trying to work through it until you either exhaust yourself or get frustrated and never wanna do this piece of art ever again, move to another spot on the art. I bet you, it will come to you. It's like doing, it's like working on a puzzle. Just because you can't find that puzzle piece doesn't mean you're gonna stop putting the puzzle together. You're just gonna look for other puzzle pieces and work on the other parts of the puzzle. And then maybe the piece that you had been looking for will just magically make sense after you've worked on the rest of the puzzle for a little bit, you know? I was able to listen just a little bit between calls. Amazing. I have not seen, well, I, uh, I have not seen you in the longest time, lady. Hello, Gambit Mojo. It's so nice to see you. How you doing, sweet bean? It's been a second. We're making a, king, a hinky, which is a husky kinkajou. So welcome in. How the heck have you been? How's life? Tell me everything. Busy but good. We like that. The piece I keep looking for is usually under the sofa, right though? I think we have alternate or alternative schedules. Oh, I just, I haven't, this is the first time I've streamed since September. So that also might be an element as to why you haven't seen me stream. <laughs> uh, this is my first stream back. I've done, I did one random one a little over a month ago, um, just to, just to make sure that I knew what I was doing still. Um, but yeah, I haven't, I haven't streamed in a hot, hot second. I was like, I'm going to take a quick break just so when I come back, I'll be nice and refreshed. And then I never came back. <laughs> so, but I'm back now. I had to, I, I focused on other elements of my business and my content. And I definitely felt, uh, it was really nice to be able to have a good healthy amount of time to to dedicate to other content like making TikToks and Instagram stuff and more uh, recorded stuff for YouTube. And so though I miss streaming dearly and I definitely have felt the the hole that it has created in my like creating new things, it definitely was helpful for me when I had ideas like Fruit of the Gloom and uh, garden thicket and the nudes and the, and the lizards and all that stuff. I definitely miss that element of having a community hang out with me and kind of just be a think tank while I'm making these cre creations. But it's been really nice to be able to focus on other stuff. But I'm so glad to be here. It's been 84 years. I'm watching stream and making crafts for the homeless and elderly. I might not type much. Oh my gosh, no worries, sweet bean. Thank you so much for being a kind human. <laughs> uh, Middlings, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. Chrissy, are you back home? Is, is this messaging, is this with you messaging on, uh, on YouTube saying that you're back? Okay, I need to see something. I just, I just want to look at something real quick. Um, 
Okay. Okay. I'm getting a better idea as to what I can do. And I know why I'm having a hard time. So I'm just going to make the outside shape so much more uh, just fuzzy. Um, I was at a red light and wanted to send you uh, some likes and I'm still about 30 minutes out. Okay, cool. I was like, I don't I feel like you said it was an hour and I don't feel like it's been an hour. But thank you for sending me some likes and no more liking and driving. <laughs> All right, we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this out, to, not together, but we're gonna figure this out. Okay, okay, okay. Spooku says, part of my art journey has been that when I started to learn more about how things work and the fundamentals and rules of art, I got really stuck on that. Like, I try to make something for fun and get frustrated that it's just not technically how I heard it should be. So I'm doing my best to just make messy things and let my mistakes just exist and stay in the piece. Maybe I'll be able to get over that and, and over that stress and learn more soon. I love that. That is such a healthy way to approach that. And that's absolutely true. You should definitely... I mean, like, it's, there's a good, there, you, <laughs> it is good and there is a time and place to learn those types of fundamentals. You should definitely learn the fundamentals of art. It's always good to learn about the rules so you can break them um, or you can make them work for you. But you definitely don't want to, like, stress yourself out to the point of not wanting to do something. Okay. And then the center of their head. I think this might be just a coloration that we're going to have to do. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to do that with color. Okay. Uh, rules are there to be bent and not broken, so bend them as close to breaking point as you can. Yeah, get away with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for restoring my Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you guys were able to hear that. I don't know how loud the music is, but that was that was fun. That was fun for me. Okay, we're gonna have the little hunched back. redo this. OK. 
Come on, knee, I believe in you. Okay, if I can't get it in this next one, I'm moving over. Moving to the next thing. is very big. Oh, geez. Boopa Triceratops. <laughs> I forgot about all of the different uh, things that I have. Here, I will boop a Triceratops for you. Here's a quick commercial break. Okay, so this is. This is a Triceratops. Boop. Boop. Doop, boop. 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 This is a Triceratops cat from the Parasic Park. This is a bumblecorn, which is a bumblebee unicorn. Has six legs, it's very cute. Look at this little bean, look at it. If you haven't pre-ordered the bumblecorn, if you haven't pre-ordered the bumblecorn or the fleep yet, which is a flamingo sheep, I would suggest hopping on that, mainly because they're cheaper for the pre-orders, because we do that for y'all, because we want it to be cheaper for you. So this is a fleep. Flamingo sheep with flippy floppy fleet feet. And this is a bumblebee unicorn with six legs. Do they have a thought between their eyes? Not a single one. And then back here is the OG baby, which is a cork, which is a corgi shark. Look at this, look at this baby. So those are the babes so far. We have new babes coming out. Always new babes coming out. We're gonna just put those back there. Precious! Oh, I was about to ask where they were um, on the shop. Yes, yeah, so the Tricatatops and the Cork are available right now. <laughs> so you can order them and they will be shipped to you within days. Or you can pre order the Fleep and the Bumblecorn. You can get them in their packs where you can get uh, coloring books and keychains and pins. Or you can just get them individually. You can get them both. You can get one, you can get the other. We opened pre-orders a little bit ago and we have a little over 500 that have been pre-ordered so far, which is insane and amazing. So um, yeah. Back to our regular scheduled programming. You named your Tricatatops Toothless, I love that. Can we hear anything about your adventures um, you have planned? Oh, adventures that I have planned. Absolutely. So, I don't know if you guys can hear the sirens. Um, adventures that I have planned. Well, first and foremost, uh, we are possibly, I haven't, it isn't set in stone, so I don't wanna promise anything until like I've paid for the booth, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be in C2E2, which is in Chicago at the end of April, which is terrifying because that's, in a little over a month and we don't know if we're gonna be in yet and I really need to buy plane tickets. So we're gonna be in Chicago at the end of uh, April and then we will possibly be able to be in uh, Supercon, which is in Miami, and then also New York City Comic Con and Dragon Con. So we've got a lot of really big cons going on and I'm very excited. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, Morakai, how you doing? How you doing? Um, I need to get my pre-order in. Yeah, you do. Um, it's not that surprising giving my Twitch name. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. Um, Meg, certified con artist. Get out of here.
did not, we do not like this foot. No, ma'am. Need to do a little bit of more dynamic toesies. Is that your breath? Ma'am! Sorry, my dog is stinky on all fronts right now. I don't like either of these feet, so I'm gonna delete them before I cry. That's so much traveling and peopling. Ah, oh, yes, but I really love peopling. Until I don't, and then I crash. And then I charge, and then I'm back to people. I like to call myself a high-functioning introvert. <laughs> um, I mean, um, I can't type. I meant to saw, not was. Oh, you saw a dog. Love that. And then seven months later, a stream. <laughs> you hushed. <laughs> Better stinky on all fronts than backdoor, any backdoor secrets. I don't know if you were around or if you were lurking at that point, but she, she's already dusted me today. I was, when I was just streaming i was just like what is that smell and it was her rear end Walking away from the the feet for a second because I think I need to look back at my is this <laughs> is this Imagine Dragons but like a really calm version? Da 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 Uh, so your pupper crop dusted you, Meg? Yeah, absolutely. She's definitely, she is a stinky, stinky lady. But she's also 14, and she's allowed to be stinky. She has, I don't know if anyone knows about this, but there's this thing called vestibular old dog disease. Uh, in longer term, it is an idiopathic vestibular old dog disease, which is a very fancy way of saying your dog old and we don't know why, but every once in a while their inner ear attacks them and they don't know which is up and then they fall and they're really wonky and spinny for a little bit. So the first time it happened was in November and it was really not cool. Um, she was fine one second and then the next second, the best way I could explain it is that it looked like her eyes she was trying to read movie credits that were scrolling too fast. And so her eyes were just flicking from bottom to top, bottom to top. And then they adjusted and then they went left and right, left and right, left and right. And so what was happening is that her equilibrium in her ear just got completely messed up and she was just spinning and she was spinning. And it, like, it's like one of those where it's just like, uh oh, it could be a brain tumor or just a thing old dogs do sometimes. And you're like, okay, go. okay, cool. And it ended up being the old dog thing. And so she went through it again and she's just at the tail end of it at this point. But apparently what will happen is every few months or so, she will get very, very dizzy. She will not know what is up. Her head will tilt a little bit. I will have to carry her places and I have to give her anti-nausea and motion sick drugs for a couple of days until she kind of evens out, and then she's fine. Gotta love it. Uh, wow, cool, so you got the WebMD in person. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, an ambivert, I love that. Okay, cool. So I've been to a, um, I've never been to a con, mostly due to not being able to drive, but I really love someday Love to you someday, and I know I'm gonna be crying my eyes out if I ever get to meet any of the people I love online. Like you, you're a wonderful bean. Oh, oh my goodness, it would be very sweet. I, I've met a couple, of, like, now that I've been online for as long as I have been, I have had the 
absolute honor to meet my online community in person. And it is so amazing and so wildly overwhelming <laughs> because it's, there's one thing where you can get, I mean, as used to as pop as you can to a certain amount of views, followers, whatever on online, because those just, those just kind of turn into numerical data. And that's just, that's just, you know, those are just numbers. But then you realize that that's like hundreds of thousands of people that follow you and watch you and are used to you and are and like you're welcomed into their home whether or not you know about it and i during dragon con met people that told me that like i got them through like chemotherapy and 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 i got them through like breakups and and i and, and it was just so unbelievably humbling and terrifying to realize how much of an impact my dumb stuff is and so i just will forever and always be grateful to meet people that have been following on online in person it was really cool i also consider myself this but i never really have the chance to socialize much so i just look like another major introvert <laughs> i totally get that but you're socializing right now Oh god, my eye. It's it's pollen season, so my eyes are going to start ex exploding. A stream is like the audience um, visiting your front porch or living room. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Oh, my eyeballs! Okay. Um, I am in the south, and it is officially becoming pollen season, and I'm not super stoked about it. Okay, we've got a very fluffy husky tail. Curly husky tail. Um, I don't like that little nub, so let's... I can't tell if this song is tickling my brain or like... It, you know, like, you're like, haha, this song, like, this sound tickles my brain. But sometimes tickles are not fun. And I can't tell if this song is like where it's tickling you and you're like, you need to stop before I kick you. Or if it's like, this is a fun tickle. The jury's still out on the tickling. Marissa Clark on YouTube says, I never had allergies before I lived in the South. I still have them even though I, um, I still have them even though I live far from the Southern USA. I, I didn't, I had like some allergies when I lived in when I lived in Colorado, like I was allergic to cottonwood trees. So every time they blossomed and just like their cotton just exploded into everything, I definitely had allergies there, but it was like a, oh man, my life kind of stinks for two weeks or I can't climb that tree. But here it's like, you can't escape. And it's like, everything is coated in like just a fine yellow powder. And you will get into your car and you have to use the windshield wipers to just dust off your car. And it's stupid. Anyway. <laughs> I digress. Um, yeah, that used to be me as well. I wasn't able to get out that much, but now that I am my friends, um, now that I, I am, my friends call me a chatty Kathy. I love meeting people and learning. Are you getting out more often? That's exciting. What are you doing? Da 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 ba ba da ba ba da 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 I'm fine. Oh, okay. That made me so nervous for a second. I thought I had been drawing on the sketch layer this whole time, and I was gonna cry. 
Um, which is so wild. Like five viewers doesn't feel like so much, but five people sitting on my couch. Oh my God, I'd get it. <laughs> get out. It's too much. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah. If you had, yeah. If I had 57 people in my house, I would <laughs> be like, please leave. I grew up in Colorado, but nothing so, um, but nothing, so many allergies year round in Guam though. Oh, you know, Guam, yeah, I'm sure. I, Cause it's tropical. So there's probably always something blooming. You grew up in Colorado. Marissa Clark, where did you grow up in Colorado? Where in Colorado? Where are you from? You know, I mean, you also don't have to dox yourself. Don't tell me. I am a stranger on the internet after all. <laughs> you don't have to tell me anything. Look, an onion butt. Okay. I, iPad, I'm gonna need you to just calm, calm your butt. Okay, we're good. Love the fluffy boy. Me too. Me too. And several dreams of meeting you, uh, meeting my online friends, including you, Meg. There was lots of hugs and crying. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I would, I would be a uh, just inconsolable mess if we met each other in person. I wouldn't be surprised if it happened. Okay, so where where are these fingies? I need to just cheat a little bit. The fingers go all the way up here. And then they're like... Okay. See, if I drew that, that's hilarious. Even when you trace over, sometimes you're just like, that still looks dumb! It just looks like little sausage beans. Um, Tiffany Owl! <gasps> Tiffany! Coming in with almost two years. Tiffany, how are you? How are you? Longmont. Oh, cool. Awesome. I'm Westminster, so not too far away from one another. <laughs> I, just, I just put my hair in my ears. That's fun. Is Meg thinking too hard about the feet? You bet your butt. Is Meg really good at thinking too hard about things? Ah, ha, 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 that's my secret, Cap. I'm always thinking too much. Overthinking. Is anyone just fueled by overthinking? <laughs> I just want this to look like a paw from a kinkajou, but I'm not getting it right. Ugh, pooper doopers, man, okay. Go here. Also, I need to give myself credit because I'm like, this doesn't look right. But also, <laughs> since when does a kinkajou's hands look normal? I just need to be okay with that. If my drawing doesn't look, if it's like, this looks like a weird paw. It's because it is a weird paw. You're not drawing a cute little husky paw. You're drawing a kinkajou hand. Kinkajou hands are freaking weird. So if your drawing looks freaking weird, congratulations. You did it right. Sorry, I'm just aggressively yelling at myself. I'm Chaos Incarnate. Welcome! If I didn't overthink, I wonder if I'd think at all. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, that's where my husband met. Good old Westminster. Oh, cool. <laughs> Good old Westminster. I have not been back to Westminster in a long time. So I have no idea what it looks like anymore. But I hope the, I hope the butterfly pavilion's still there. Um, I'm a textbook overthinker. Right, though? It's just... It's just, it, I think, like, I'd like to say that it has its benefits, but, like, what what evolutionary benefit do we have overthinking, you know? We're listening to the Tetris theme song. Put some blocks on some other blocks, and if you're lucky, they will disappear. But if you aren't very good at the game, you will definitely lose. <laughs> 
creativity, perhaps. Ooh, I like that. So much in life has happened, um, and I miss I miss everyone. So much in life has happened. How is everything? How you doing? How's the puppy? Um, Butterfly Pavilion hasn't changed. Oh, thank gosh. Thank goodness. The Butterfly Pavilion was just my favorite, man. I loved that. You could do Husky Paws for feet instead. Yeah, but then it wouldn't do very well in the trees. <laughs> So I want it, it's in a tree, and so I just feel like it wouldn't make sense for it to be husky paws, because huskies can't really climb, you know? I just need to, I also can like just cheat and do what I normally do and just give it nubs. Because if you look at almost all of my art, most of their little, most of their legs and their hands are just nubs. Because nubs are cute, you know? You nub? You nub what I'm saying? Um, yeah, it's been like six years for me. Close to me, I think it's been about eight years since I've been back to Westminster. I've been, I just went, I may not say just, I was in Colorado in October. And I just, I don't know. I, I, I really like Colorado but I really like Atlanta <laughs> and I just didn't realize because when you don't know anything else, what's their, how do you, how are you supposed to know? But I didn't realize just how uh, lacking of culture Colorado is just in general. There's just not a lot of diversity with people, uh, th thoughts of d different th th trains of thought and types of people in general. It's just very whitewashed and very white bread and just filled with, kombucha and uh patagonia and patchouli and i really like it but i like it for the outdoor aspect and not the people <laughs> colorado is uh so black and white and i'm from wyoming yeah it's people from colorado are square or more rectangled <laughs> ah, 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 i liked it um yeah, I just, and this is, again, like, I mean, Colorado's beautiful. The people that I know that are in Colorado are wonderful humans. I don't mean to be, you know, pooping on it or anything like that, but I just, I am really glad that I moved and gave myself the opportunity to meet um, and live in a different, in a different place. Also, Atlanta is so, so chock full of just amazingly talented people um and it's so it's just the arts community performance it, it's just it's it's amazing i i love 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 atlanta i could do without the humidity and the mosquitoes and the pollen and 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 and, and that kind of stuff and uh but other than that, and it would be nice if our policies were a little bit more <laughs> kind to people. Um, but other than that, I really like it. I love it so much. Uh, same except for Guam. Uh, Colorado is nice, but there's so much. It, 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 there is so much nicer here. The people um, actually mixing pot, but in Guam, uh, never moving back. I love that. I love that. Oh, hello, Laura. How you doing? Welcome over on YouTube. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm making a husky and a kinkajou, also known as a hinky. <laughs> and this is the hinky. 
Um, life is crazy, pup is too, and doing great. I'm moving in with my man in June and work is nuts. Ugh, I'm so excited for you. We were just talking about how we have seen so many different life changes in the people in this community over the three years that I've been streaming. And it is just, I'm just always so, so proud of all of you. Um, uh, River Stick saying, not me hiding in Colorado, but it also does uh, suck here. <laughs> does such or suck? <laughs> Probably both. Um, I really want to make a big move and get out of my state, but I don't really know anything about the rest of the world. So it's interesting hearing people talk about where they have been um, like that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely, I definitely recommend moving, making a big move at least once, or at least like living in a place that you aren't from for at least, at least a year. I know that sounds scary, but I promise you a year goes by very quickly and it's just your perspective and your worldview will open up dramatically as soon as you travel, especially if you travel and you live in a city. When you move a little rural, it's a little it, like, I mean this in the nicest way possible, uh, rural mindsets tend to be pretty similar. Um, which is great and it's a wonderful lifestyle, but if you really want to get an understanding and open your mind, your, your perspective to the world, moving to a city or, I mean, in today's economy, wherever you can, close enough to a city, uh, it just, oh, it just, it gives you such a healthier perspective of other people and the world. And it reminds you that you are definitely not the only person on this planet and therefore, your perspective and your life, uh, what's the word? Your, your, your life, the words there, it's not wanting to come out. It's a little shy. Don't worry about it. Your experiences. There she is. She just needed Meg to look silly in front of a bunch of people first. Your life experiences, you realize that your life experiences, though very important and valid, are not the only ones out there. And then it's okay to share that. It's okay to share the world with others. Uh, quality of life, exactly. I'm moving from one Carolina to another. Oh, okay. Wait, so are you going up or down? I don't remember. You're going down, because you were in north, right? Um... But inspect the place in person. Don't buy sight unseen. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Do not buy a place that you haven't, like, lived in for you. Like, please just, like, rent. <laughs> People are, like, uh, copy-paste for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. Colorado is definitely... And that's okay. Some people want that consistency. Some people feel more comfortable when they are surrounded by... Uh, and they surrounded by the same thing and there isn't a lot of change. Change is very scary for people. And when you see different types of people, that can be considered a type of change. And so that can be really scary and hard for people to feel safe around. But I can promise you, just because someone's different does not make, immediately make you unsafe. Sometimes it makes you safer. You'd like to go to Amsterdam. Ooh, yeah, Amsterdam would be cool. I feel like I would have to go on an off season because it's such a destination vacation that I just would not, I do not want to be around a bunch of high schoolers and early college students that are like, I'm just going to be high all the time. I just really don't want to be around that. Um, you're home now. Wonderful, Chrissy. I love watching you draw. Oh, thank you. I am, if you feel up to it, if anybody wants to, feel free to draw along and make your own hinky, which is a husky and a kinkajou. And uh, I would love to see it. I would love to see what your versions of this are. I just got very hungry. I had a Chicago hot dog for lunch and it was so good. I did not realize just how delicious Chicago hot dogs were, but it's been introduced to me recently and 
I just, I love crunchy, I love vinegar, I love spicy, and it's just, mm. Hello, Yade, how you doing? Housing market crash was looming, we had no choice. Yeah, I get that though. Um, uh, yeah, part of the reason I need to move is for cheaper rent. I live alone and really can't handle the area I'm in much longer, so I don't expect to get a big, get into a big city, but I'd love to experience that someday. I've always lived in small towns and I'm convinced I'd like a bigger city. Yeah, especially if you don't have pets or if you don't have pets that need like a yard, living in a bigger city is wonderful. <laughs> um, live in a boat in the canals. Ooh, that would be cool. Uh, so much, uh, Marissa says so much of the mainland U.S. BS doesn't reach us. It's probably the best part. I've lived in so many different parts of the U.S. and 100% agree with you. More if you can. Absolutely. It's just, it also just meeting new people that you would just never otherwise be able to meet is so cool. Your mashables are adorable. Um, there's a heart on the, okay, can we get out of here? I can't read people's comments. That's so silly. Um, your mashables are adorable. I am even using, oh, there we go. So using some as inspiration for crochet projects. Amazing. Darth Reyna, thank you so much. I'm so glad that I am giving you inspiration. That makes me so happy. So hi, welcome in. Hubby stayed home sick from work today because he woke up very dizzy. Oh, well, I'm glad he's listening to his body. I like your hippopotamus hanging plant. Oh, thank you. It's a hippopothosmus like a pothos plant, but I like your hippopot isness. That makes, a, that's, that's cool, that's better. <laughs> um, okay, all right. I think we've got a pretty good sense of our line work, except for whatever this line is. We don't like that. Chrissy says, he finally drank water when I called it too and apparently went on a cleaning frenzy that he is still in, hasn't eaten or bathed yet. Uh, wish he actually rested. He hasn't had water since 2 p.m. He's on a cleaning frenzy and he hasn't eaten or had anything to drink or resting. I wonder why he's dizzy. That reminded me I needed to drink water. And also, let me just say what I just said. The amount of times my partner has told me that because I'm like, oh man, I feel really lightheaded. And he's like, cool, have you eaten anything today? I'm like, <laughs> what? I was thirsty. <coughs> You're welcome. If I ever succeed, I'll try to tag you in. Oh my gosh, please do. Please, please do. Um, Scarlet says, how are the doggos? The doggos are good. They are definitely transitioning officially into the old chapter, old dog chapter, which is definitely a level of existentialism and making me face my own, like, you know, age. Um, I say that like I'm old, but like, you know, just, just the things that, remind you the passage of time and the inevitability that nothing is permanent. So having three dogs that are over the age of 12 is a little stressful. Um, very expensive. In the last few months, my dog Peanut has had two surgeries back to back. One was to get a lump removed and a little like thing off of her eye removed. And then she was in her cone for two weeks. A, a day after we got the cone removed, I gave her a bone to celebrate. And she cracked her tooth and she needed to have that, that, that tooth removed or it would have died and become infected. And so she went right back into a cone. And so she had two surgeries in the same month. And then Shyla had her vestibular old dog disease where we had no idea what was going on. And she was so dizzy and like falling over and couldn't see. And I had to carry her like the original, I felt like when I was carrying her in and out of the house, I felt like the original Stanley Yelnats carrying the pig up and down the hill every day. That's a niche re reference. And I hope somebody understands. So I did that. And then right on New Year's, my dog Gator, cause I have three, he started acting really funky. He stopped eating. He was acting really sick. He was very lethargic. We did x-rays. We were like, there might be something in his stomach, but we can't tell. And then I drove down to Florida to hang out with my family. And he became worse and was throwing up and couldn't, and was just, was refusing to eat, throwing up, couldn't poop, a lot of stuff. Did another x-ray, found out that he swallowed a rubber toy that did not belong to us and it got lodged in his intestines. And so there was an emergency vet bill, an emergency vet 
a, a, a surgery where I had to spend $6,000 for a four night emergency stay on New Year's Eve so he could get the thing removed from his body. So other than that, all my dogs are great. <laughs> but literally the last three months of my year, last year, was insane. Um, but uh, other than uh, drowning in vet, uh, vet medical bills, they're doing great and they're alive and that's all that matters. Um, Omni Overworld, hello, how you doing? How you doing, how you doing, how you doing? It's Wednesday, my dudes. Yes. Um, did the holes guy carry a pig? <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> it was his ancestor. Yes, that's why he got... Uh, it's a whole story. <laughs> you should watch the movie. Um, what are the breeds? Sorry, I'm, I'm new here. I don't know. Oh, don't worry. Don't apologize at all. Uh, my two... So I have three dogs. Two are brother and sister, and they're border collies. And then I have a pit bull walker hound named Peanut. She's very durable. Um, Marissa says, I get that way every time, Chrissy, every time you get sick, and then cleaning frenzy safe. Yeah, absolutely. Same, same. I was trying to remember. Um, the lady and the guy. Yes. Madame. I can't remember her name, but she's the voice of Yzma, the amazing actress that I should absolutely know her name. Madame Zeroni. Yes. Um, but yes. So anyway, long story short, my dogs are okay. <laughs> Uh, and I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm much more poor than I want to be, uh, but my dogs are alive. O M Doodler. <laughs> We've got Caffeinated Doodler who just raided in on Twitch. Holy beans. How y'all doing? Hello, hello. Hello. Thank you so much for following. Welcome in. My name is Meg. I make mashables where I combine animals with one another. We are making a husky and a kinkajou. A kinkajou is this little thing. That's thing. And so we have named it a hinky. <laughs> a husky and a kinkajou. A hinky. So I make mashables where I combine animals with one another. Sometimes I combine animals with inanimate objects, but mostly it's just two animals combined to make an entirely new creature. I also put lots of butts on things. There's a lot of puns and a lot of bleps. We try to keep this as PG as possible with the occasional cheeky humor, of course, but we try to keep it as safe for baby beans and years possible. But it is so nice to see you. Mermaid Vexa in the house, holy beans, but caffeinated doodler, doodler? Caffeinated doodler, how are you? Hiya, Meg, how have you been? I've been so good, how are you? How are you doing? It has been awesome seeing your stuff on Instagram. Oh my goodness, how are you? What's going on, what were you working on? Also. Mermaid Vexa, how the heck are you? And happy Wednesday to you. Cheeky humor. You were you were already mentioned the butts. Ah ha 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 ha. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm great. Did some traditional doodling. Ah, oh, I love that. Um, I do not have my stream set up very well to be able to give my raiders a proper hello and greeting to see all of your stuff. But if you would like to put in any of your socials for people to follow please 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 do i definitely want to make sure that you get all of the love and accolades that you deserve because you deserve them all but thank you so much for bringing your community over here it is so nice to see you also i just want to point out we've been we have not been back to twitch in a hot second and we have 102 viewers at the moment we have 13 on youtube which to be honest is exciting because it's typically like two. <laughs> so this is exciting. This is so amazing. Thank you all so much for making me feel so welcome coming back to streaming. I will be doing a Let's Make a Mashable live the second Wednesday of every month. But every Wednesday, I will be posting a YouTube Let's Make a Mashable. It will just be an edited version. And then I will be doing a live version once a month. So I might be able to bring more live streaming back into my streaming and into my schedule, but un for now, I'm just, I'm slowly bringing it back into my life. So, and also thank you so much for the follow, friendly ghost friend, I appreciate you. Um, so yeah, okay. Let us color in the hinky. I kind of, 
I feel like we need to have kind of like a, let me see, let's see. I feel like, uh, I feel like a black and white, using a black and white husky as a reference is good. Because again, we, we, we have, because we replaced the husky ears for kinkajou ears, we are still kind of treading on it being too much kinkajou and not enough husky. So I think if we work more with the traditional husky coloring that we've seen before, I mean, you say traditional, I don't know what a traditional husky coloration is. Isn't it typically like a gray? Um, I'm doing chores and feel good about it. Heck yeah. Uh, there's a husky staring at me, um, but he just wants pets. Well, you best give that husky some pets. Give it a boop for us. Um, I had a very productive weekend as well. Um, I, I, I sync, I don't sync my cycle, but like I have, I notice what moon phases are with, a, in, a, in, in correlation to what cycle I am in my month. And I have noticed that during the new moon, my, I get a, just this just huge spike of productivity. And I'm not saying, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not like gripping my crystals. If you do that, wonderful, delightful, I, to each their own. But I'm not saying like the new moon makes me do this, but I feel like we go through like a hormonal cycle. And so mine matched with the new moon typically makes me have just, I, I like just, extreme cleaned for four hours on Saturday and it was amazing. Um, Meg, I made banana pudding from scratch last weekend. Amazing. That sounds delicious. Marissa says, yay, my Mashable order is getting delivered tomorrow, technically today, but not in time for actual mail delivery. <gasps> How exciting. Wait, what did you order? What'd you get? I want to know. I want to know. Can you tell me? I want to know the chaos you bought from my shop. All right. Okay, let's get... markings it's like they go here and then they come out here they go here and then they come out here nope they come here 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 nope here here and then here okay and then we go here and then we fill oh my god we messed up we do that and then we fill Ha ha! Look at that. Oh, jeez. Okay. I don't think huskies... Do the huskies have the little white dots or is it just... Am I... Am I going crazy? Huskies have those white dots, right? Husky markings. Okay, some of them have the little like eyebrows, but for the most part, they actually don't have that. It's like they do, but it's, okay, you know what? I think I'm trying to make this too much of a, we're gonna do this. We're gonna get rid of this real quick, like. And then we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do this. Oh, jeez. Mm 
It's like I know they have the little fried shrimp looking eyebrows. Uh, crazy idea here, but have you or would you ever do a mashable for different deities? Like Athena is always represented by an owl, but that could be mashed with something. I love that so much. I also know that my friend Kayla would lose her mind with that because she is in a Percy Jackson kick right now, and I know that she would love that. And also, she loves Athena. So. Um, I thought the fried shrimp eyebrows were only temporarily featured. Get out of here! Ninja Boot Meg! <gasps> <laughs> I have my cork and my Tricatatops behind me, luckily still in one piece. Oh, I love that. What did you name them? Oh, I just missed a thing. Um, I finally can catch your stream. I love your Instagram posts and your art. Oh, little dino boy, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. You sweet bean. Well, welcome in. Welcome in. Um, Precious Duke coming in from the raid. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, Percy Jackson. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Little Dino Boy just followed. Oh, just subscribe. JK? With your prime? <laughs> you chose me? That's been your luck today. What's been your luck? Thank you so much, Ash. Ashley12, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate the heck out of you. And a group hydrate. get some I, I need to I need to reevaluate how I'm doing these markings also what the heck's going on here who are you all right I figured it out stranger danger um Percy uh Perchy Jackson I'm a nerd <laughs> Uh, goes back to, goes back to crochet. Um, but you know what, Meg? What, uh, Meg is streaming, so that's a plus um, to a really frustrating day. I am so sorry. Finally having dinner. Oh, you poor bean. Well, I'm glad that you're, what are you making? What are you making? Uh, sandwiches are made. I'm going to eat with hubby and watch Blown Away. Have a great stream, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much, Chrissy. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Tell hubby hello. Why is it my problem? Oh, because <laughs> Nightbot isn't working. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about it. Okay, so we can either have a husky that looks like this. Oh my God, I'm on the wrong layer. Okay. We can have it. Oh, jeez, little biscuits. Um, where it's like, they have like this stripe that goes up their nose. And then they have that. Does that look husky? Does that look husky to you? I don't feel like that's husky. I feel like this is more husky. That that reads more husky to me. But also huskies like they have enough variations in their colorations and their and their coats that it's like it's hard to nail down the coloration of a husky. I have more line work stuff I need to get rid of. Okay. Um, yeah, that's better. Much better. Okay, cool, 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 cool. 
Do we like the eyebrows? I keep finding spots that I have not erased that is line work. What the heck? Um, they have white paws. have the white they don't really have the white tip of the tail that's more of a border collie they have more of the like the inside of the tail is white it's so funny because I've trained my brain to think that when I'm doing let's make a masher like let's make a mashable I've, I've made myself think that it was Friday mash challenge so my brain's like oh my god it's already Friday why haven't I done all the things that I need to do oh just kidding it's Wednesday it's in the middle of the week. We still got so much time to do all the things. But who, who are we kidding? Are we actually still <laughs> going to be at Friday and still panic and say, oh my God, we haven't done everything that we need to do? Because that's what I think is going to happen. Da, 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 da. Okay, white belly. I want a white belly. I want a white belly. Give me a white belly. Give me, give me a little white, white little tum tum. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Uh, supper is here, woo, and as usual, um, I love his little feetsies. Oh, thank you so much. What's supper? What are you doing? What are you eating? Are you watching me on your phone or on your TV? I'm always curious, who's watching me on what? Are you on, are you on cell phone? Are you on tablet? Are you on laptop? Are you on uh, somehow a carrier pigeon? And the kid pigeon's just telling you what I'm doing via interpretive dance? Cause that would be cool. Um, oh, another boop. I am actually got you on my, both my phone for chat and my TV. Oh my God, I love that. I watch stream usually simultaneously, 20 or t TV 55 inch and laptop. Oh, that's so cool. Tablet, I'm at home. Okay. Wow. That's cool. Someone redeemed a boop the tricatatop. So now from a word from our sponsors. There's the pup. There's the stinky dizzy pup that's super old and loving and she's not super old, but she's getting there. Um, this is a tricatatops, which is a triceratops cat from the Parasic Park. It has prehistoric toe beans, very fluffy, and also speed mode. Pew! I'm gonna give you a little boop. Boop! <laughs> oh god, don't fall from your chair, Meg. Okay. Hi, Tilly. How are you doing? Are you not liking the slander that I've been doing with you? All right, going back to draw. I love that the Tricatatops is a sponsor. <laughs> oh yes, when you have a Tricatatops, uh, they get the 3 a.m. zoomies just like any other cat. But unfortunately, uh, I can't, I've, I've tried to train it out of them, but I haven't been able to be successful about it. So unfortunately, you will have a dinosaur cat zooming around your house at 3 a.m., but at least you can tell when they're about to because their little frill goes down and they get the zoomies. So, Parasic, you are a genius. <laughs> I have a lot of cats from the Parasic Park. 
There is the Velocicat Purr. There is the Terracatdle. There is the Stego Munchkin, which is a Stegosaurus and a Munchkin. That thing is hilarious. Um, and then there is the main Rex, which is a main Coon and a T-Rex. And, oh, the Dilatish Fold, which is a Dilophosaurus, which is those things with, like, the big old frills that spit in Foreman's eyes. <laughs> uh, and then a Scottish Fold, so it, it's cute. My Tricatatops um, has a weighted dino buddy. Oh, that's so cute. Um, I just, intro done. Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I also just, why men say only fools rush in. That's what this song reminds me of. But I, Da, 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 oh my god. Do you guys want to see something? I'm going to let you guys see something. I'm going to let you guys see something real quick. You want to see the design for one of the next stuffed animals that's going to come out? I just got the email. Also on the cell for chat, but TV for watching. Oh, love it. Um, so this is the cactog, which is a cactus hedgehog. I would also like to point out that it is six inches and not ten. So it is, it is smaller, and I made it smaller so you can put it in a pot. I'm not making a pot for it, but I put it. I made it so you could put it in a pot. <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> Look at its little floof! It has the tiny, it's just so chubby. Throwable. How dare you? Also, the Fleep is very frustrated with you. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god, I love it so much! I love it so much. I need this chunk in my life yesterday. Yeatable? Oh, y'all are... I need it so bad, I miss my hedgehog. Oh, See, that is the only hedgehog mashable that I've made that is... cute? Don't let the chat dissuade you in any other way. I've made a few hedgehog mashables and they're all nightmare fuel, except for the cactog. Your energy is so contagious, I can't stop smiling. Oh, he's so sweet. <laughs> I disagree, disrespectfully disagree. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, no, the, uh, This, I've made a Snedgy, which is a snail hedgehog. You would think, because snails are cute and hedgehogs are cute, that I made something cute. I did not. I put eye stalks on a hedgehog and gave it a spiky, curly uh, uh, shell and thought I could get away with it. Uh, and uh, it's, it's awful. I, I like to promote that you should always be kind to yourself and be and, and not talk bad about yourself or your art because artists especially like to talk poorly about themselves. Um, but I like to say that maybe we have one exception to the rule. And you have to choose wisely. And I feel like I've chosen very wisely. The Snedgy, the knife army is coming. <laughs> hey guys, remember that 3D model I said I had? No, don't. Don't you dare. I thought you were talking about that you had a 3D printer. I didn't think that you were using, don't you dare. False, I love my witch hedgehog sticker. Oh, okay, the wedgehog, the witch hedgehog. Okay, the wedgehog is cute too. 
I I have I have been I have been corrected. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I forgot about the wedgewog. I love the wedgewog. Da 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 I'm gonna see Kung Fu Panda 4 tonight. How exciting is that? I'm a little nervous and I don't, I don't wanna be like, I mean this in a respectful way, but I hope that they have given Aquafina a character that isn't just an annoying, like comedic relief, unrelatable character because I think she's very talented. And I really do like her voice. Like her voice is cool. Like I'm not like her voice isn't the annoying thing, but like the characters that they she has had just are not something that I have been a fan of. And I want to like the characters she does. So hopefully Kung Fu Panda 4 has given her that opportunity, right? I just spent five minutes ex explaining two animals you were mashing to my husband. They got the husky part. <laughs> You're like, listen, so it's a kinkajou. It's kind of like a Cody, kind of like a raccoon, kind of like a lemur, but it isn't. It's a kinkajou. And it's, <laughs> he's like, cool, so a husky? <laughs> I understand. Okay, honestly, I'm enjoying this. I think this is very cute. Um, it definitely isn't gonna be one of those where people are like gonna know it off the top, but that's okay. That is okay. Cause we make mashables here. We make dreams come true and nightmares, mostly nightmares. I'm looking at you, Snedgy. How you doing, Shibs? What are you doing? Why are you pacing around? What's going on? What do you need? Do you need water? Did you forget where your bowl was? Excuse me, hold on. My hair is in the shape of my headphones. <laughs> oh, you have the gamer headset dent? Where? <laughs> you can just... I have like Princess Leia buns, but from gaming. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> uh, first tornado watch of the year, I think. Oh, geez. The Snedgy looks back at you. Oh, God. Um, all the cool kids wear their hair like that. I mean, right? Right? Okay, let's, let's play with giving us a little bit of a background. Definitely foresty area, so... Maybe give us some green, and then we'll do a little bit of, I'm gonna do, hang tight. I promise this will look like something. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, who knows. And then add a little bit of like a, an illusion of sky. Maybe, oh geez Louise. Put some blue in there, put some blue in there. Get a little bit more blue, blue, blue. This is like, I'm so messily doing this, but that's okay. Because you will see what I'm doing in a second and maybe it'll make sense, maybe it won't. So we're going to blur this. And now we kind of are working with like just some jungly stuff. 
behind our little bean. And I'm just, I did Gaussian Blur and then I am just kind of blending it around with my uh, Soft Blend airbrush just to kind of give it nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Let's see if I can reference this. And can I cheat? Will this let me cheat? Do, 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 do. Oh, cool. It will let me cheat. I love this. I love this for me. Wonderful. Oh, okay. All right. Now back to our programming. Now we can give ourselves a little bit. Now that I know kind of a little bit where the coloration is coming from. I do, I do I like what I just did in the background? I don't know, but we're gonna just work with it for now. I might want a little bit more blue. Uh, tomorrow is a uh, pie day. Oh, you making a pie theme drawing? Oh, I absolutely should. I should, that's such a good idea. That's such a good idea. Okay, so now I'm gonna start doing shadows. And shadows have color to them. You don't think that they would, but they do. Um, so if you're ever doing your, if you're ever shadowing your work and you're using like a, a, a black or a gray scheme, uh, try, just try doing it for a different color. And right now I have a lot of greens going on, so I would imagine that my shadows are going to be the color, a very dark green color. And I can cheat a little bit because um, Procreate allows me to do what's called darker color, which is right here. And so that kind of helps me translate a little bit more of a shadow. Um, have I missed Leo the Zodiac drawing in your Zodiac series? Nope, I have not made it yet. It is one of five that I haven't made yet. So it's on the wheel. It will, it will happen, I promise. A pie turtle, I love that. So here we have, I also wanna figure out, I'm gonna say that our sunlight is coming here. So this is where our, our shadows are gonna be. I like, I, it sounds silly, but I really like to draw um, like where the, the light source is coming from, like as an arrow. And that gives me, that helps my little ADD brain with remembering, okay, nope, you know, I can't, I can't get too excited about my shadows. I need to make sure that it matches where it's coming from. Would that make sense? Would there be a shadow there? Do, 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 do. When in doubt, if you're like, I don't know what color to do for my shadows, a dark blue is also pretty good because it's the sh shadows are mimicking the color of the sky around you, which is really weird to think about, but shadows, shadows have a color. They have a tone, they have a hue. Um, you ain't lying. Sits down again. <laughs> I'm paying so close attention. I really want to learn more about shading. No worries. Yeah, it's it's shading is, and I'm and I'm I'm still learning. Um, I'm learning from just repetition. I'm learning from looking like watching videos on my own. Uh, I am self-taught. Um, so I'm definitely, but I would consider myself at this point. You know, I, this is my, this is literally my profession. This is literally what I make money off of. Um, I do not have another job. This is my job. So I think at this point I can consider myself a professional of some sort, but I'm not certified in any way. Um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely a learning curve and there's times where I think I know what's going on and then I'm like, oh, I haven't been doing that correctly. There's just a lot of 
a lot of process, a lot of uh, learning from mistakes. Um, let's see, I don't like that shadow there. I feel like this would be shadowed from the from the vine, and then the rest of it would be shadowed kind of here in the back end. You can also, what's great is you can use shadows for texturing. So instead of me having to draw fluffs all down this tail, I can do little tabs like this, like boop, boop. And that gives me the illusion of fur texture. That's a really fun thing that I like to do. Um, does anyone does anyone else want to adult for me today? I don't want to pay bills or deal with teens, no matter how chill they are. <laughs> you know what? As 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 fun as that sounds, I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with Rovai and say hard pass. <laughs> That fire rainbow bluebird is a uh, a bad butt design. Thank you. That is a uh, that it was it landed on blue jay, fire and pride. That was when Meg had. That was back in the day when Meg had a lot more energy and time to just do stuff, and so she did three things in a mashable at once. She does not have that energy anymore to do something like that. <laughs> That was your first Mashable? <gasps> oh my gosh. That is crazy. It's been a second, huh? All right. I'm gonna get rid of this thing too. Well, now that I've done my shadows, now I'm gonna come in and do a light layer, lighter color and bring the opacity down. And I like to make my sunlight yellow. Like I, I, I just, I like to make my my highlights yellow, so I always come in. It's really nice too. You can use the highlight to add a little bit more dynamic separation between, like, so the head, the top of the head, and the ears, since they overlap the back. You can do that to just kind of just make them pop a little bit from that that rest of the body, so you can tell that it's a different shape. It also tells you that it's a little more forward than the back. It gives the eye a little bit of help to figure out just where the heck all of these body parts of this creature is. And I'm going to show you something real fun. That This was a thing that I learned a while ago, but I haven't really figured out how to implement until recently. There's the highlight for the nosy Cricket Whisperer over on YouTube, you sweet bean. Hello. How you doing? How's it going? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've actually wanted to revisit it now that I identify as Envy. Oh. Do it. When did that identification take place? Did I miss that? Because I have not been referencing you in the correct way, and I apologize. Cricket Whisperer is now over on uh, a Twitch. Hello, Sweet Bean. It's so nice to see you over on Twitch. Hello. Hello. 
Okay, so the fun thing that I was telling you that I'm gonna do is something that I learned is that shadow, there's, there's, there's like three shading, light and shading elements. There's the key light. I mean, this is, this is such a like bare level version of this. There's so many more layers to this, no pun intended, that I do not know and I am not equipped to educate you on. But from what I have learned, there are, and what I use for my designs is I use three elements. I use my highlights, which are the yellows on the top, the hard yellows, the hard lights. I use my shadows, which I color a darker version of the color around them as like kind of their shadow. So I have a dark green as their shadow. And then there is a bounce light. So there is light that's coming from the top. There's shadows that are coming from the bottom. And then there is a bounce reflective. So it's not a hard light coming from up here, but it's still a light source. And you come in and you make it the color of your background. And it is your bounce source. And so you can hide this in your shadows. So see how like, because what would happen is the, there's light technically that is bouncing off of this uh, surface and coming up here and reflecting onto these spaces right here. So even though we have our shadow, we also have this bounce reflective light that is reflecting the color of whatever it's bouncing off of. So I have started doing that where I add a little bit of bounce just to give me some fun extra and you have to be careful because like if you to me what I've noticed is if you don't have enough shadow um, to kind of help guide it it looks a little funky so you don't want to do you don't want to add too much but like right here on his back leg and on his belly um, it again it kind of looks a little funky when you're zoomed up to it And this will definitely have, right here, we'll have that bounce right there. And so it kind of, and then you can just kind of get, have fun with it and add a little bit of that edge highlight. And then it also helps you kind of pop your, your shapes a little bit. But yeah, so that is something that I've learned recently and I've been implementing into my art. And it's really added just kind of a fun, extra dynamic to my, and it's tiny, it's real tiny. You don't really see it if you don't know what you're looking for, but it, it makes me happy. Bounce light, visual echo, heck yeah. Us men gotta stick together. And I was like, oh boy, this is gonna get him good. <laughs> oh jeez. Um, no, no, he, they is fine. That happened uh, in a small way sometime late last year. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Good to know. I also sometimes give lightning uh, uh, toots to my, uh, on my stream if y'all paint in a less stylized way. Yes, uh, you should definitely, if you ever want a lighting, and I said lightning, lighting, if you ever want a lighting tutorial, go to Rovi. Rovi has an amazing grasp on lighting. Uh, Marissa says, I swear ADD people uh, are the OG Mashables, given that they are part human, part cat, with all the zoomies. My hubby and teens have all of it. I guess I'm drawn to you, sweet beans. <laughs> Welcome. It is us. <laughs> when you're here, you're family. And by that, we're going to drive you crazy. But with love. One of us. Hi, Shibs. Hi, baby girl. How you doing? Hold on. We're going to do a quick... I don't know if I can do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to use the iPad. Oh, jeez. Tibbs! Tibbs, no, come back! Hi. Hi, Smurfs. Hi. Hi. You're so cute. I love you. I love you. Isn't she just a sweet baby? Oh, 
She's licking her butt. Okay. <clears throat> do, do, do. Okay. Now we can. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't give the the vine any. Heading off for dinner um, and Supernatural. Heck yeah. Thank you for the good stream, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, Ray. I, Rihanna, Rihanna, I really appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening. I appreciate the heck out of you. Okay. Let me... Do, do you have the time to listen to me whine? about nothing and everything all at once i am one of those i don't know why that's in my head is this the first time streaming in a long in a while oh it's been uh, a second it's been a second <laughs> it's been a while since i first pressed the go live button it's been a while We are going to make a jungly looking background here. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I'm having a hard time here. There we go. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna do, and I am just making these really rough shapes because I am going to blur this background. And what's really cool is once you blur the background, you can barely tell what it is. And so it's just kind of. I hear, I see you, Shyla. I'm sorry. Do some moss that's growing over on this. The moss that's growing over on this. We're gonna give a little bit of shadow to the moss over here and over here. And then we are going to do the Gaussian blend. And then you're like, oh wow, those probably would look so good if they were in focus. And you're like, ha 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 ha, no they wouldn't. But they look good now. And there you go. Now you have a fun little background with not a lot of detail, but you're like, look, there's stuff going on. I did a whip with the blue footed uh, booby FMC and I just never got around to finishing it, but I put it in Discord anyway. Amazing, I'm so glad that you did it anyway. All right, y'all, we're getting close. We're getting real close. We're getting like needs eye dots close and then we're done. Isn't that exciting? Cause we're at the three hour mark. And the fact that my iPad hasn't died yet is amazing. All right, ready to give this little hanky a soul? Amazing. It's been a moment since I have seen a Meg stream. Hello, Chase Echo. It's so nice to see you. It's been a moment for everybody because I haven't streamed since September. <laughs> but it is so nice to see you. Welcome in. How the heck have you been? Sweet, sweet bean. Boop. And just like that, 
we have made a hinky. We did it. It's a kinkajou and a husky. Look at this. Look at him. Look at him. Look at them. Look at this. That would be why, probably. <laughs> Look at this magnificent specimen. This thing sings the song of its people. It sheds like a just nobody's business. It has thick fur that keeps it dry, surprisingly, uh, in the rainforest. It lives in Mexico, Central America, and Brazil. It is a wonderful, wonderful contributor of biodiversity in its forest because it will eat fruit with seeds and then it will spread it everywhere from its butt. <laughs> the hinky looks very horrible. Yes, I like to imagine that it likes to be used as a yo-yo. Um, magnificent. Oh. Um, now that you have a warehouse, we need more plushies um, of your creations, including this one. I, I'm telling you, that's the goal. That is the goal. We're gonna do it. Um, this, this, there we go. I just got as an email. And uh, now we have a, a, a vision, a view of the next generation of Mashables as a stuffed animal. But this one's gonna be slightly smaller, so you can put it in a pot. It's a little cactog. Look at this little bean. Look at this bean. I'm so excited. It's so stinking cute. <laughs> uh, anyway, or throw it. We're not throwing the cactog, Rovi. Gosh. Uh, Adam says, love it. Another Mashable um, that you have knocked out of the park. You are so stinging sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Adam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He do it the cutest. Throw Vi. I'll take that. I'll accept that. Um, wait, is that the purple plushie in the background? Is that a purple plushie in the background? <laughs> and now that we've... Ah! Oh, drama... Dr drama... Skate... Skater girl, there we go. Drama skater girl, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate the heck out of you. Um, now that we have finished Let's Make a Mashable, the first Let's Make a Mashable back to streaming. Every Wednesday we will have a Let's Make a Mashable. The second Wednesday of every month will be a live version, but every Wednesday will be posted of a Let's Make a Mashable. We've made a hinky, which is a husky and a kinkajou. I'm so proud of us. I'm excited to see what you make. If you want to tag me in any of the socials and show me what you've made for the Lamayam, please do. Uh, now, a word from our sponsor for the final time. Is this, is this it? There he is. This is a bumblecorn. It is a bumblebee unicorn. It has six legs, not a thought between its eyes, and a stinger on its forehead. This is something that you can pre-order on my site. Its friend, the Fleep, which is a flamingo sheep back there, is also available for pre-order. These guys should be available in about May, June. Um, but if you pre-order now, they're cheaper. So if you wanna wait until you order and they arrive immediately, amazing, but you'll spend a little bit more. But if you wanna sit and hang out with us and pre-order and wait and be patient, which is very hard for us, I know, including myself, we give it to you cheaper, don't we? Don't we, little thing, yes. <laughs> Intrusive thoughts. Okay. All right. Y'all, we did it. We done did it. We done done did, did it. I am so proud of us. Look at us go. Where's the iPad? Let's bring you up here. I want you over here. Okay. Get... Yeah. Cha 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 cha. Okay. Everybody, this is the hinky. We did it. Um, new setup too. Yes, I am in my warehouse. Remember that warehouse that I was uh, saving up money for? Well, I'm here. <laughs> it is larger than my house. That's not saying too much because my house isn't that big. But thank you all so much for hanging out with me for a Let's Make a Mashable or aptly uh, nicknamed La Mayam because Let's Make a Mashable is kind of hard to say all the time. But thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for coming out and, 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 and supporting me and coming back 
with me after my very long hiatus of live streaming. I will be doing this more often. It will be once a month for starters. If we bring in some more uh, streams, that'll be awesome. But until then, it will be the second Wednesday of every month, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be making a Mashable Live where you give me animal ideas. I put those ideas on a wheel. I spin that wheel twice and whatever it lands on is the Mashable we make for the episode. And then every Wednesday, that isn't the live, I will be posting a Let's Make a Mashable episode. That will just be a little bit smaller and concise because I won't be talking to a live stream. So, <laughs> so thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really, 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 really appreciate you. And this is fun. This, this felt good. This felt, this felt, this felt, this felt needed. And so I really missed all of you. Um, yeah, yeah. So until next time, I hope you guys are kind to yourselves. Being kind to yourself is not easy, but it's something that you need to do. I promise. Just be kind to yourself. We're over on Twitch. On YouTube, I can't like raid over onto someone's channel, I don't think. But I'm going to uh, figure out who I'm going to raid and bring this amazing community. Oh my god! What the heck? So we're gonna figure out who we're gonna raid over on Twitch. Um, I don't know who is live. Please tell me you're on <laughs> Confidential. Okay, that's right, that's loud. Oh, Dave Peterson. <laughs> yes, of course. Um, I forgot how to raid. Hold on. Did I do it? Okay. All right, everybody. I found out that women have a bigger frontal cortex. Um, reasons not to be hard on yourselves. Ooh, I like that. That's a good. That's a good idea. Okay, friends, follow me over on TikTok on on Instagram. Uh, if you want to on Facebook, go on ahead. We don't know if TikTok's gonna exist, but that's okay because things change and social media's change, and that's why you diversify your content. So. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me. We are going to raid over to David Peterson, who is a phenomenal, phenomenal artist who does what's called Mouse Guard. We're gonna move over to there. And then until next time, I can't wait to see you next second Wednesday of next month. <laughs> so be kind, everybody. I love you, I love you all. And uh, until next time, okay? Adios, mis amigos. Is that the right screen? It's the right screen, yes!